Right, I literally just come back from school, lads, and the news literally just checked Twitter, and it's absolutely gone off. Absolute carnage at Derby County right now. I thought I had to flick the camera on. No editing. Going to keep this as raw and personal as possible. Uh, just going to have my opinion on the whole thing. So, that's just pretty much to those that don't know what happened. This is apparently what happened. So, the players went out in the joiners' arms in Corndon somewhere uh, on Tuesday night. Went out for a little sesh. Uh, well, not even a sesh. Just like a squad building thing. They were just chilling in a pub. Nothing bad about that. That's absolutely fine. Um, and then... Most of the players around 8 o'clock went home, uh, fair enough. And a few of the lads, uh, including Richard Keogh, uh, Tom Lawrence and Mason Bennett, ended up staying uh, while most of the la other lads went home. These three players ended up staying, along with, along with a few others, I'm guessing, but it was definitely these three that were still there. So, what happens? We wake up Wednesday morning. It's all over the news. Lawrence and Bennett... Both been arrested, drink driving, apparently racing around Alice Street. Uh, I think Bennett has a Mercedes and Lawrence has a Range Rover. I think Lawrence has absolutely messed up that Range Rover. Uh, I've seen the picture of it and it's absolutely battered. Um, and then news comes out after school, literally right now, that Richard Kier was in Lawrence's car. The one that got battered crashed into a lamppost, Lawrence did. Uh, and Kier was severely... Uh, injured his knee, he's injured his wrist or something as well, and Keo is going to be out for the remainder of the season. Oh, I mean, can you believe it? It's, talk about the cherry on the cake. That is absolutely... Oh, it's inexcusable, really. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with going out and having a good time, but, you know, I just, out of everything, I feel sorry for Philip Koku because I think it just shows... These players, do they really have that much respect for him? Going out and then coming home, not even, like, get a taxi or something. Obviously, I'm not going to have a dig at these players because, yeah, they made a mistake. And there's about a thousand other people who have done it on Twitter. But I've met them both in real life. They both seem like top people, obviously, when I did that video with them. They both seem like top people. And I just... I don't really know. Obviously, Richie Keogh's out now. Uh, till the end of the season. And when he comes back, he's going to be 34. Is it going to be the Richie Keogh we've seen over the years? More than anything, I do believe it will be... We'll really miss him. And to the fans that slagged him off, well, now we're going to see how much we really do miss him. I'm assuming it'll either be Curtis Davis maybe in the... Uh, replacing his position, or it will be Bielik. His natural position, CDM, but will he play him centre-back? I'm not sure. We'll have to find out... Uh, Birmingham at home is on Saturday. All of this has happened, and we got Birmingham at home in the court, uh, sorry, in the league on Saturday. I don't know what they were thinking. Obviously, not very much. I mean, they were drunk, but yeah, Lawrence and Bennett, they've been arrested on drunk driving. They're going to be in court soon. Uh, I mean, I, they might even get sent down. Imagine that. Forget playing for the club. Um, but yeah, it's it's just really shocking to hear. You know, trying to be under the radar, sort of chilled out. And then this happens. Ke oh, to put the cherry on the cake, Richie Keogh is out until the end of the season. That's literally what all of us Derby fans wanted to hear. First of all, when I looked at the club statement, I thought it was something to do with Coco and him leaving. But, hey, I think this man deserves respect because I really do feel sorry for him. And, you know, it's going to be a massive mammoth task to even get us in the top six now, never mind the top two or anywhere around there. Um, yeah, I hope for a speedy recovery from Keo. Uh, and, yeah, I, I, I just really wish that. Got in a taxi, left your cars at the pub, went back the next morning and got it. I don't, I don't see why they didn't do that. That's what most normal people do on a night out. Not, especially play... Obviously, it's inexcusable for anyone to do that. I mean, they could have... Obviously, they didn't, thank God, but they could have killed someone. Like, imagine someone was walking on... Literally walking right past that lamppost when Lawrence went flying into it. Obviously, nothing like that happened, thank God, but... This could have been so, so much worse. Uh, and, yeah, it just really is going to be definitely a nervous time for Bennett 
uh, and Lawrence. And I have to say, it really is inexcusable. But I know a lot of fans saying, sack him, kick him out of the club. A lot of players have done it. Not saying it's inexcusable, but a lot of players have done it. And I don't personally think... To be fair, I think Bennett would maybe try and make it up to the fans. Obviously, he's one of our own. But Keogh, when he comes back, he's going to be 34 when he comes back. I don't think it's going to be the prime Keogh anymore. We're just going to see how he ends up playing if you know he does end up getting a chance back in the team. Lawrence, I don't think he's got much of a chance. Obviously, I do wish he speedy rehabilitation comes back. Unreal player, imagine that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just not really great, is it, at all. Talk about staying under the radar, away from everything. Literally come back from school, see the club statement. What is this? Richard Keogh injured till the end of the season because... He was in the car that Lawrence has crashed while he's been drinking. Oh my days. I mean, just when you thought. We're sitting 18th. The season so far has been dead. And I think it... Apparently the new captain's going to be Huddleston. Uh, I think that's what Philip Koku said. I don't personally disagree with that. I think that's probably the most sensible choice. The only candidate I would have really thought of was maybe Curtis Davis. But hey, I respect his decision. Uh, decision. And Tom Huddleston is the new captain. So, I mean, look, what's the time now? Like, 10 past four. It happened, like, Tuesday night, these lot went out. And uh, one of my mate's sisters was there as well. And they said, like, yeah, they were all there, all the players. Literally, I, part of me was going to go and see him, but then I thought, no, I'll leave it. And then the news comes out that like they've been drink driving. And then Keo. I just, it's just so infuriating. I mean, not only are you putting yourselves at risk, you're putting other people at risk. And it's just really not a great image for the club. They've literally dragged Derby County down in all of this. Um, and yeah, it's just... you got to be supportive of people in their bad times, I think, though. You can't really like, start slagging them off too much. Obviously, people are going to have their opinions. And I perfectly understand that, but oh, it's just so annoying that we have to deal with this now. It's going to go off on Twitter. The Leeds fans are going to jump on it. The Forest fans are going to jump on it. Every other f fan base is going to jump on this. And it's all for the wrong reasons. It's for two of our players been drink driving. One of them with a severe knee injury. Uh, obviously, the front of Lawrence's car was absolutely mangled. Uh, so I'm assuming Keo was in the front, but... Yeah, and his wrist uh, was injured as well. It's just, what are they doing, man? I've got, to, I've got to say, the club have dealt with it. If they do sack him, I think. To be fair, if I say that, that it's it, it, it's extreme if they sack him, I'll get people that will disagree with me. If I say, yeah, sack him, get rid of him, I'll also get people that will disagree with me. But all I've got to say in the matter is, Derby County. Mason Bennett and Tom Lawrence, have a hard look at yourself, lads. You both seem like top people when the last time I met you, and this really doesn't represent who you are, uh, and I hope you can sort it out in the near future. And I just hope you don't get a sent down in flipping court. Imagine if these lot end up doing time, like six to eight weeks or something. It is heard of. It's not just a fine, uh, but yeah, I think it will just depend on the judge and everything like that. If you... If they don't seem remorseful, then who knows? That he might even send them down. But yeah, I hope Kia a speedy recovery. Um, and yeah, to all the Derby fans right now, we've got to literally, I know as hard as it is going to be, we've got to take it out of our minds and focus on Birmingham at home. I know it's going to be an absolutely massive distraction uh, for all the players, all the staff, and in particular, Philip Koku, who will feel quite... I, I personally feel quite sympathetic towards him, but hey, there we go. I'll have a bit more of a chat about it in the Brum preview tomorrow, 7pm. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that and I will see you all later. Thanks for watching and also drop your thoughts in the comment section of this video and let's get a little bit of a discussion going. Cheers for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and I will see you all 
Later. Cheers for watching.